Legend of Total War here with a new campaign series for Total War Shogun 2. Now today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be playing, playing the Rise of the Samurai campaign, not the vanilla Shogun 2. Now I know that some people will probably want me to play the Fall of Samurai campaign, but what it comes down to is that it's largely in the gunpowder era. I've played the campaign a little bit before, but I really didn't like it that much. And I want, would rather be playing stuff that I want to play, that I would enjoy. So I'm going to play the Rise of the Samurai. I've played it a little bit, never finished it completely. But from what I have played, it looks pretty enjoyable, so that's what I want to share with you today. So, I've had a look at all the starting positions for all these guys. There are definitely some that are easier than others. Um, but since we're not... This is not about um, proving how, how much of a challenge we can do. I've already done that before. If I, All I need to do to say, if we've done a Shogun 2 challenge, is point everyone to the, to the Blitz campaign. If you want to watch me do a, an extremely challenging campaign, a Shogun 2... Watch the Oda Blitz campaign, because that was fucking hard to do that in seven turns. But today we're just going to have fun. So I'm going to play as this faction here, the Hiraizumi Fujiwara. It starts off with an easy initial challenge. We're still going to play on Legendary difficulty. But one of the main reasons why I want to start here is because I don't want to start with a position that's completely surrounded by people and just get... just being like 50 walls, walls right off the bat. Because that's something in Shogun 2 that happens every single time is that the people who are you are allied to or who you border will always declare war on you and at least from here we'll have a pretty easy to maintain frontier so let's get in here and get this started also their um their faction stats are to my liking as opposed to the other ones so like i said i'm not an expert with in regard to this campaign i've never finished it completely but i've played enough to at least know what all the buildings do The Sengoku Jidai was a time of war, but those who say Japan has never seen the like have short memories. Long before the Ashikaga Shogunate, 400 years of peace was shattered by the Genpei War. Amaterasu, the Sun Goddess, watched over the emperors of Japan and gave them power. Their authority was absolute. An emperor could retire from the world and still have complete mastery over Japan. But now, imperial might is crumbling, weakened by three noble families. For many years, the Taira have secretly controlled the imperial court. Sophisticated, cunning, ruthless, they plot against any challenges to their hidden power. The Minamoto are proud warriors. Their pleasure is battle. That and the destruction of their enemies. The Fujiwara were once the most powerful family in Japan. But now, they only dream of power. After years of careful planning, the Tyra are finally ready to make their move. The Miyamoto intend to block with all their might. Meanwhile, the Fujiwara watch and wait. Perhaps this moment is a chance to right wrongs. The Imperial peace is at an end. War is coming and blood will flow. Okay, we don't need to hear this. I can do the intro for them, so you shut the fuck up. Okay, so, we are the Fujiwara, whatever, okay. So, alright, let's have a look. We, we put this on legendary difficulty, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Easy way to test to put it on legendary difficulty, just I tap control S, and uh, it does nothing. So we go like this, yeah, okay. Because sometimes I, I forget. I always like to play on legendary difficulty, 
But that doesn't necessarily mean I, I want to play like the ultimate challenge every single time. Alright, so what we want to be doing, at least to begin with, is using our agents to capture settlements, not our armies. Um, I mean, for those of you who are not familiar with for, with Rise of the Samurai, I would actually recommend this this campaign. It's actually quite a challenge, and it's um, a lot of fun. I mean, if you like lots of unit variety, this is not the one for you. There's like three different types of units. There's swords, the naginata, and bows. That's about it. And then there's the different qualities of them. Um, as for char uh, what's it called? Uh, cavalry, you don't get them until late campaign. You basically have to research all the tech before you get them anyway. So, but that, it's not really about that. What I like is the strategy of it. Also, what I really like about this one as well is that unlike in the Sengoku Jidai campaign, in this one you can actually upgrade all of your settlements maxed out because there is enough food to go around to every settlement. In the Sengoku Jidai one, there isn't. You can max out all of the food buildings, upgrade all your techs and everything, but if you try and upgrade every single settlement, you'll run out of food. So if you, if the AI, for example, and this never happens, but if they upgrade all of the settlements, you can't actually downgrade them, so you'll always have a famine. But in this, if you build the um, the barter exchange, the next one after that, the uh, the food stores, it produces food, and the one after that produces more food, and the the grain warehouse produces more after that. So you can end up producing, I think, like four, uh, like seven extra food per province. Let me just have a check. No, not pastures. Um, so yeah, that provides f four, and the other one provides three. So you can get up to seven, and these one, these ones will only use up a maximum of four, I think, once they're maxed out. Anyway, first thing I want to do is build up a harbor in both of these regions, so that we can dominate this trade resource right over here. Also, I found in this campaign the AI is extremely belligerent to the point of almost stupidity. I've seen factions. Um, declare war from halfway across Japan and send a navy all the way across just to be repelled. And then, of course, because they've sent an army all the way over there, they end up getting destroyed by their neighbors. Like, they'll declare, oftentimes, they're declaring war on like six or seven people at a time. It's very silly. Anyway, let's get a trade agreement going over here. Say what? Now. I wanted to build the barter exchange, but it costs an extra hundred. So what we'll do here is sell off a bit of military access. What a tiger grows at your door. Just so we make listen, but you enough money. It to take yeah, that's good. Tear. So we can purchase that. Just get that started. Because you know, extra two hundred wealth from commerce that'll help. Now, one of the things that I don't like about this is in regard to the unit quality. Um, there is. With later Total Wars, there is no fucking incentive in purchasing high tier units for the grand campaign, uh, for the for the strategic purposes of them. They are purely to win battles, not to win the strategy, and not to win the campaign. That is because the lower tier units, of course, they have way higher number, and they're way cheaper. So, for example, the Naginata levy, they've got 160 men in them, cost 60, excuse me, 61 in upkeep. The the next tier is the Naginata Attendants. I think they've got 120, I think. Either that or it's, yeah, I think it's 120. I mean, they are better units, but then their upkeep goes up to about 100. And then you, the next one after that is just the Foot Samurai. The Foot Samurai, they're swordsmen and archers, so they're multi-purpose. And they only come with 60 men, and they cost upwards of 150 per unit. Now, that's, that's all good and well. Like, they're, they're, don't get me wrong, on the battlefield, the Samurai are extremely strong. But in order resolve, you, if you had three of these, easily overpower, over, over, overpower one or two um, samurai units. So therefore, there's there's not a whole lot of incentive. Order resolve overpowered. Yeah, I know. I mean, I will try to get some higher tier units, but only once we've got the money for it, because there is a lot of lot of. Uh, I mean, if you fight the battles. If you pick your battles well, you don't need to worry about the fact that your units are shit because you just you'll know your strengths and your weaknesses and you know how to deal with it. Okay. Anyway, enough of that. I want this person to keep an eye on their army because I don't trust them. We want to try and get rid of these guys as soon as possible. Even though they're part of the same sort of faction, I still don't trust them. 
they'll never they'll never come in to help our ass at, at any time when we get attacked, and they'll they'll drop us like a ton of bricks if we get attacked by someone that they don't want to fight, and they'll drag us into fights, which is even worse. Okay, so okay, we've already got two of these texts done. I want to get this one done right away because that clan wide happiness will come in handy. So let's do that. So you just stay there. So the way this works with these agents is that you need to get your faction influence, which we're essentially, we're green, Fujiwara. We need to get it up to 50%. Once it's above 50%, you're able to try to get their allegiance. But the chance of success, you know, is, varies depending on the quality of the agent and various other factors. And then you also have to pay them a gift as well when you secure their allegiance. Whatever the case is, it's still a lot cheaper than having to send an army over there. So yeah, keep an eye on them. I just want to see what they're up to. Alright, what do we want to build now? So let's get some more dry field agriculture. Because that will provide us with more money and more food. Once we get some food, we can upgrade the settlements. Which is crucial because... The difference between defending a town and defending a stronghold is huge. Defending it, the town does not have any walls. It's like a village in, in um, Medieval 2. But this one does. It's like the fort from Shogun 2. But um, inside of a town, your units do not have unlimited morale. But inside the, of the stronghold, they do. And it, like I said, it just makes a big difference having units with unlimited morale. Anyway, let's move on. Especially on legendary difficulty, when units will rout, having lost 10% of their troops. We legend, just use samurai. Shut the fuck up. It's actually funny, in a live stream one time, someone said something online of, um, oh, this particular campaign, like, it might have been Epirus. Epirus for, um... For uh, Rome 2. And they went, oh, the campaign on Legendary for Epirus is super fucking hard. And I said, no, it's not. Uh, because all you need to do is spam their cheapest unit. And they said, well, that's if you play it your way. If you play it my way, fighting all the battles manually, it's really hard. It's like, yeah, if you want to give yourself a handicap, any fucking campaign can be hard. You can play as Rome and be like, well, I'm only going to recruit mob and fight all battles manually. Yeah, you know what? That's fucking hard. But you know what? That doesn't actually make the campaign hard. Okay, it's your own restrictions. So if you want to play the game optimally, it's not hard. Tell what is hard. Western Roman Empire, legendary difficulty, West uh this is total war, that's hard. Even even now it's not as hard as when I did it. Okay, but that's neither here nor there. Let's uh, continue building this stuff. What else do we want? Clan estates. Increase the tax rate by five percent. But what about over here? Yeah, let's improve our iron reserve. Also, we've finished these ports. Let's get a trade ship in each of these. Ah, shit. Better we get it in the other one. I just want to get one ship over here as fast as possible, just to lock that position down. So, when does this become available? A few more turns. We'll need about a thousand income in order to, to buy it as well thousand in the treasury but it's also pretty low risk probably two more turns okay so we just finished that tech yep that's what I want all right now what's next so you come over here I definitely want more ships I want to send another ship down here as well just to just to Actually, you know what? It's probably not a good idea, because the thing is, the more factions you meet, the more that they'll want to declare war on you. Sometimes it's actually better, even if it, it costs you money, just not to go and meet those factions. Just don't interact with them at all. Don't go anywhere near here, because wars can can spiral out of control in, um, in Shogun 2. As much as it is, there's an incentive to go and get all that stuff, but like I said... Not the case of meeting those dickheads down there. So I still want to get the trade ship, but I'll send them all up here. Once I've got 10, I'll just leave it at that. 
We're in no rush in this campaign. This this is a domination campaign, right? That's what I want to set it to. Yeah. So I intend to go full map completion and just do it at my own pace and just have some fun. Not just be a belligerent dickhead, even though I am a belligerent dickhead. Alright, let's move on. Okay. So yeah, keep sending those ships over here. Let's see if we can get it this turn. Okay, there it is. I knew where it was. Okay, so 110. How much of these cost an upkeep? 55. So we're making um, making a good profit out of that. It's not fantastic, but better than nothing. Like I said, I don't want to recruit any troops just yet because we want to try and get our income up. So we can get this. Next turn we'll be able to take that. It shouldn't cost us any more than like a thousand to grab it. Okay, I want to upgrade this settlement here because I need an extra build slot so that I can build another marketplace so that I can make more of these. I'll get a maximum of five. I'm going to try and get five as soon as possible. Anyway, I'm out of money, so let's move on. Is there anything else we want to do? Now we're all good. Moving on. I think I've found so far that the major factions are the most belligerent. There's six major factions, including myself. There's the two... I'm just going to go color code them. There's the two green ones, the two blue ones, and the two red ones. Okay, 59% chance. Costs us a thousand to do it. 1,130. Are they building anything here at the moment? They're building a military port. Hmm. How much money would I likely make from this settlement? So I'm just thinking about whether or not we should just take it now, or... Because I, I might actually want a military port here. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. Just fucking take it. Good stuff. Toss of a coin. We won the coin toss. Okay, next place I want to go is up here. Now, uh, let's see. So the settlement here, the public order is good. We want to build the barter exchange right away. So that means we need money, but we just spent all of our money. That being said, we should we should be able to get a bit of money. So those are the guys we want to take next. Yeah, because they're Fujiwara, so that'll be easy. So let's let's trade with the Ashikaga. See Sometimes if we can get some money out. Travelers of them. meet and profit by Not it. that much. Shall we see what our journeys have in And sell them some military access for twenty turns. Wow. Well, I will listen to your words for a time. Do not waste this chance I Good. This will help us buy that building. Alright, cool. And the Satake down here. They're also of the Fujiwara. So we could claim them. But that's... If we claim them, we box these guys in. Stop them from expanding. Because I want to take them out straight away. Have just... Sort of like have one easy frontier to maintain. Rather than one long one. So we'll get a trade agreement with them. In a we'll get some money. Of friendship, speak of your times. And I will answer presently. No, I don't really want alliance with them. It is always good to see honest friends come to take tea and talk of many things. Uh, sell the military access. Because the thing is, military allies will drag you into wars. And to be honest, when I drag military allies into war, all, all it means is that they go and end up taking the settlements instead of me. They don't, they don't go after the armies. So let's see if we can get some cash. Nice. Can we get some more? Split the difference. Split it again. Alright. So these guys up here... Should be able to trade with them and still get... There is an agreement a with... Uh, still be able to steal their shit. For your ideas. Uh, 
And that's given us access to these guys. I don't think I can sell the military access though. And that's increased our income. Good. Now we can build this amongst other things that we can build. Now this is a frontier settlement, so we need to really build this up as fast as possible. But I think we're going to come under attack just yet. That being said, just fucking do it. Also, I think we can justify increasing tax rate now. So we can try and bleed these regions dry so we can put them back into the regions so they can get built up. Okay, we're out of cash. Got enough to purchase the ships that we need. Okay, good. It's a pretty solid start. How are we going with our clan management? Yeah, we can't give them any positions. We need to wait until they come of age. Unless I want to make this person here the heir. Wait, you're 21 years old. Make the youngest son the heir. No, that's fine. Like, we'll still get a good use out of him because this person here is... Yeah, he's old. No point sending him into battle. Alright, let's 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 move on. I really need to remember to keep an eye on, on that army. Okay, they just broke their fucking alliance with us. Like I said, they can't be trusted. I think they're coming they want to come down here and take this. I saw them in here. Okay, look, if they're in here, what we do is cancel their military access. And that'll throw them back into their own territory, giving us time to build this. So it looks like we'll we'll back off from these guys for the time being. We we're gonna fight them. Where's where's their fucking agent? And where's their army? I, I saw him over here. Alright, so we're gonna have to deal with them right away. Okay, start recruiting troops over here. Did I I haven't upgraded this settlement yet. Do that now. I wanna send this army back up here. I wanna capture this settlement, but bribe this one. So you're gonna need to move it. Right, so how many units do we have now? We've got three in there, four, five, six, seven. So let's recruit, let's just recruit three from here. Probably the quickest way to get them there. They'll probably declare war on that. Yeah, I hope they don't declare war on us this turn. Just buy us one more turn to build, build up our shit. Right, let's move on. Okay, good, they didn't. Bought us some time. They're not allowed into our territory now. The band. Alright, can we get another one of those, those things yet? No, we gotta wait one more turn. But soon we'll have access to three. Because the plan here... Okay, I need to recruit more troops. The plan here is if we use our agent here to capture this region, to secure its allegiance while the army is still here, while some, we do that first and then we capture this with our military, then this army here just disappears and we don't have to deal with them. Because we can't use our agents to capture both settlements. Because they're a major faction. We can do it with minor factions, but not major factions. So over here, we have to... I think he's more than a turn away from getting to here. I think it... he has to go through there. There's no road. But just to make sure, recruit as many troops in there as he can. Same over here. Make sure that these settlements can defend themselves. This one doesn't really need it so much. We've got the army there. And just keep an eye on him. We don't have enough money to distract him. Do they have any more troops over here? No. Nope. 
If he declares war on us, we just bribe that straight away. This, he just up and you know cancelled the alliance, which is totally exactly what I'd expect. Like I said, the the AI, the uh, alliances in this are not to be trusted in the slightest. If you if you trust your allies in this, you're an idiot. I trust my allies, but I'm not an idiot. I say that because people do say shit like that all the time, and I'd, every time someone says something like that, I just face palm and go, "You're an idiot." I'm not an idiot. I take offense to being called an idiot just because I'm an idiot. You're not very nice to your subscribers, Legend. No, I am not. You got a problem with that? You can suck the fart right out of my ass. We still have military access in their lands as well. So this this guy here is 21, isn't he? Still, I'm just going to send him because he's he's a really good, strong one. The yeah. air. Recruit more troops. Actually, yeah, now send him in. So this should be enough for us to capture this settlement. I mean, they're bringing some more troops in, but we should still be able to do it. They could be preparing to attack this. Give it one more turn and they won't be able to. Uh, they won't be able to capture it that easily, I mean. Okay, we can now hire another Junsuchi. Jun, what's it for? I'm called? Jun Satsushi. Truth be told, when it comes to reading Japanese, I find it a lot easier to read it in actual Japanese, in hiragana, than reading Romaji. Romaji being... Japanese words in in Latin text, English language, hence the romaji. Um, but I can't read um, katakana particularly well, and I can't read kanji at all. Yep, I can read Japanese because I studied Japanese in high school for ages. I'm shit at it, but the thing is. I'm good at reading, not good at speaking it, not good at listening at it, but I was very good at reading Japanese. Just a little fun fact. Alright, so I definitely want more of these, but where would I send it? I guess we'll send it over here, just to, um, just to make preparations. Take the whole lot of it. What's, what's the chances of your success? 95%. Thing is, if we do that, it declares war. We want to be doing that the same turn we take this. Or if he... If he declares war on us, then we do it then. What do we got coming in here? Yep, okay, cool. Yep. Any diplomacy we need to do? No, we're all good here. They're bound to declare war on us soon. If we have a look at their... Yeah, they're hostile towards us. Why are they hostile? What do we do? Past grievances, alliances were not honored. That was your fault. Yeah, you're the one that broke the alliance, you dumb shit. Yeah, there they go. Okay, they've put so many units in there now that it would actually be difficult to uh, to get in there. Now, with this being built, hmm, I don't think they can make it straight to here, especially if this um can you can you block them by any chance? Twenty four percent. Yeah, I think it's it's worth a shot. Yeah, distraction failed. But you just sort of stand in their way, force them to have to walk around you. Buy us a bit more time. One more turn will give us a larger garrison. We could capture this right now, but then they just take it straight back off us. Which is not too bad. I mean, it's only, it's only a little bit of money. Just capture it. They 95% chance and declined allegiance. Well, well, we'll take it next turn then. Alright, you get over here. Since they're buffing up the garrison over here, buffing up their troops, I'm not. So there's four in here. 
And there's five in there, so that's nine, plus three. That's twelve. That's more than we can handle. Hopefully they don't send a navy over here to, to beat us just yet. Because it's still pretty early in the game. But taking them out nice and early is going to put us in a really good position. Okay, we can increase taxes this turn. Got to pay for the war machine. Alright, I'm not talking about Lionheart's computer. Alright, so what are we doing here? Yep, build a harbour. Because that's worth for money. Because we can build a uh, military port here where there's a actual naval tradition shit. Yeah, build the clan estate because that's good for the tax rate. I don't think they'll be able to take this. I mean, they won't be able to get here as it is anyway because they have to move around our units. One more turn. Yeah, one more turn and we get additional two units. I mean, they don't even have a full stack in there anyway. Alright, let's move on. Although, if they did attack this turn, that would be a problem. No, they don't. They're going down the other way, which is fine. Because I believe I produced units over there as well. Yep. So, if he wants to come and take this, he'll have an even more difficult time. I've got more troops over here. Okay, I can get another one of these. Which I will do. Okay, we also now can't see what they're doing. Uh, if I can't see what they're doing, that's a problem. Um, hmm. Here's the thing. What if we... If he comes down to here, captures this, uh, not captures, it comes down here to fight us here, right? That looks like what he wants to do. We'll come up to here, use you to capture this, and use you to come back down here. I want you to capture it from here. And we'll see how that goes. So we'll hire some more archers here, because there's not that many in that army. I don't find that these archers are very good. Still take him a turn to get here. So, try and distract him again. Distraction failed, but can you try and level up, please? Ah, oh, that's costing me money. I'm gonna attempt that shit. What's the chances you can. 95% chance? Good. Take it. Thank you. And that settlement is out of commission. Now, that's put us to a border with a few factions over here. So, how much is this settlement worth? The good thing about doing this as well, you get no uh, resistance to occupation. Public order here will maintain just fine. Okay, so we can build the, the thing here. This settlement is not built up at all. So this is not going to be good for defenses. Alright, now these guys here are unfriendly, so that's no good. I will Try and steal the military say, access. But it had better be good. Doesn't look like they want to pay for this. The thing is, they're probably just going to betray that straight away. But just do it anyway. It gives them less incentive to to betray me. And there's the Okura. Let me listen to your offer and answer as best I may. Nope. People don't like us very much. Hard to get agreements. Okay, recruiting troops here is unnecessary, I think, for the time being. Okay, if we jack up the taxes, no, that's going to flash, so just leave it big. I don't know, it may not have actually been a good idea to, to capture the settlement, because we're in the middle of a war, which we haven't fought any battles for yet. Know, it should just be over in a flash, if everything goes according to plan. He'll come down here, and while he's in this area here trying to fight us, 
we'll capture this settlement. Mili no, no, no. We'll bribe the settlement and capture this militarily. I mean, they can pretty much make it there just as it is right now. There's only three units in there, so we'd be able to win that with the, th the four that we'll have here. But this, 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 uh, this guy needs to get there first. So that's our faithful allies trying to get in here. That is a attendance large ship. We've got how many in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't think they'd try and take us on with this. One versus ten, but we, we do need to do something about that. If I was to recruit another ship, let's have a look here. Attendance. Yeah, look, you're just, you're just gonna have to recruit some ships to get over there. Protect it. Not the best ship, but like I said, just don't have the finances right now. Okay, let's move on. My main hope is that these guys just mind their own business for the time being. Okay, they've done exactly what I wanted. Well, there goes that trade agreement, I think. But that's fine, I'll just trade with whoever took them. We could capture this. But no, we need to make sure we, we do this first. We need to do it next turn. So it's all going to come down to whether or not... I can't even see them. I don't think they'll be able to capture the settlement. Given the garrison that's here, they just won't be able to do it. It's too big. And you're not going to make it down here in time. What we'll do, just to make sure we actually get here... Put two of these units there. Yeah, hire another one because I want, want sight on what's going on. Leave him behind. Bring them down south. If nothing else, we'll, we'll probably need to bring them around here to prepare for our defenses. Why aren't we training with the Hitachi? I don't know. So the Okura. Trade with them. That's satisfactory. Good. Greetings. Military access. Will they... Let me listen to your oh. And okay, answer. Never mind. So, these guys here. I am here to listen. We get some money out of them. have spoken and spoken no. in honesty. What about military access? Welcome. I'm here to listen and to seek a worthy outcome to our discussions. Okay, got some money out of him. Because I don't intend to go to war with him anytime soon. So, let's see, who, who of these guys out here hate us? The Nita are indifferent. They're unfriendly. I think what we should do is send these guys over here. Send him over here. So that if if we can get this this um, to 50%, we can maybe take him out. How's our fame? It's already gone up pretty high. When did we get that? Or whatever, that's good. Um, it says we can take that, but like I said, we got to do this one first. Okay, we can also jack up the taxes this turn. Good. And you, I want you to come down here. What? No, 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 I didn't want to send the military, I wanted to send them. Don't think we need any more troops right now. Okay, what are we going to build? We, well, this is a frontier settlement. We should upgrade all this shit. Because they could declare war on us at any moment. Okay, everything's set to go. Hopefully they don't increase the garrison there. I mean, we could just wait until it gets here. That would be three fucking turns, but still. Let's move on. Good, you just stay away from me.
So he's one turn away from arriving there. He would have taken some damage because of the winter attrition as well. Uh, we're going for civil insight, so we'll go with that. Oh, I didn't want this. Um, go, with, go with that. So, there's no way in hell he'll win. Okay, I want you to come back over here. I want sight on what's in there. Okay, that's easy enough. That's actually very easy. They move their army out of the settlement. This is the perfect opportunity. If we if we capture Ugo... Okay, good. Good. Step one done. Step two. Fucking take this. Order is already sufficient. <laughs> Boom, they're gone. Everything went exactly according to plan there. Very nice. I mean, we'll suffer the uh, invasion penalty, but that's okay. Let's drop this down. So that'll need to be repaired, but that, that's good. Okay, so Buddha Sanctuary here, so we've got a holy site. It doesn't increase the rank of cells, because that's what we get from here. I'll keep that there, just because that is a useful building. Because I do want the sails. Anyway, the, our enemy is gone. Like I said, if he was outside of the province, disappears. It was perfect timing. I mean, I wanted him to do it, to get experience, but... You know, beggars can't be choosers. We got him in the end, and we've secured our regions out here. And we've unblockaded the port out. What's this? Oh, that's, that's my fleet. Okay. So send them over here just to protect them, because there's a reasonable amount of money coming from that. So hang on, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, it's ten. So we'll need to exempt this region from taxation for the turn, or else we won't be able to tax it big time next turn. So what's this? Recent events, what did we do? Maybe that was from them. Don't know. Hang on, let me see here. Because it's not applied to here. Alright, so you come down here now and keep an eye on them. What, what the fuck are you doing here, Chicago? But the thing is, we since we took them out, by we lost like a hundred men in fighting them. That's the thing. The Art of War states, and this is I usually... Like, I haven't read The Art of War, but I've read quotes and inserts from it. And I understand pretty much everything it says. To defeat your enemy without fighting is the best way to beat them. I'm paraphrasing a little bit there. And that's exactly what we did there. We we defeated them with minimal bloodshed. Some people think the best way to beat someone is to attack them head on and fucking glorious battles of bloodshed. No, I've always gone with the approach, kill as few of them as possible. Kill as many as you need to, but kill as few as possible. Unless, of course, I'm angry, in which case... That fucking sanity just goes out the window. I'm just like, kill everything. So we'll bring them back over here. Try and give them a full stack, and then we can actually... Actually do something with it. Alright, so with this... I wonder if, if this region here might actually be more useful to us. This silk. Because otherwise, we're going, to try and, we're going to try and maintain as short of a frontier as possible. At the moment, just these two regions here are the frontier. But if we take this, there's a whole bunch of regions that become the frontier. Satake. Which ones are those? These guys here. Their allegiance is... Oh, right, we can tell here. It's Fujiwama, so I could... I could potentially capture them with, with these guys. So yeah, you come over here, because I don't trust them at all. Never trust any of the major factions. I don't want this army staying here. Okay, well if we build this, it'll provide repression. So that'll be good. And over here... This one here doesn't need garrison building. It's so far away from any enemies. It's, it's unlikely to... Even a naval invasion is so unlikely. Um, 
we would see it coming a mile away. So we can afford to build the muster field so that we can actually recruit troops faster from here. But of course, it's not exactly near the frontier, but it doesn't matter. We'll recruit our best units from this region. So over here, what do we got? We got a barracks. So they've already done that here, but that's not what I want. So demolish that. It gives us access to, to firebomb throwers, bow warrior monks, Look, I'm not a big fan of, of Naptha. Naginata attendants. See, look at that cost compared to, to this. And they have... They've got 100 men, not 120. So... In my opinion... At this stage of the game, we're, we're much better off using them. We'll get them later on. Actually, if we're going to get troops, we get the samurai. They're, they're very good. Even though they're lower number. Because they're good, they're good shooters. They shoot like fucking crazy. And they... Um, in melee, as long as they don't break, they're very strong. Alright, so yeah, you just... Yep, it's already moved. Okay, I've got a little bit of money, what do we want to do with it? So, yeah, you deserve a promotion after that, well done. Yep, and this, what are we doing? Yeah, reduce the chance of him getting assassinated would be best. So that's providing happiness. We could build that up. I'm not really in intending to get any warrior monks, though. Because, actually, if we have a look... These are bow warrior monks. Where do we get the warrior monks from? If we have a look at them, their range is the same as bow units. They're really expensive, though. Oh, yeah, we'll hire one of these. They're good. They can help us maintain the public order there. For all warrior monk recruits. I don't think you get the melee versions of them. I don't think there are any Naginata warrior monks. I'm not, I'm not certain about that, though. Also, when he comes down, he'll meet up with these guys. Good. Right, let's, um... I forgot to give him a position. He can be this. That'll just reduce our construction cost by a little bit. Alright, moving on. So, we're in a state of peace at the moment, which is good. Well, how much of a dickhead were those, those allies? What did I say right from the start? Don't trust them. First thing they do, they break the alliance. I, de I declined the military access because I could see what they were fucking doing. And then they declare war on me pretty much straight after. Dickheads, a lot of them. Okay, so jack up the taxes this turn. Put him in there so you can maintain public order. Even if it's just a little bit, it helps. Same with you, you come in here. And entertain nobles. That, that way you just help to level up a little bit. Because I don't really like having shit agents. So over here. That'll take some time, but that's okay. Same with that. But that'll annoy them. Don't trust these guys. The best thing we can do is get rid of all the major factions as soon as possible. Yeah, we'll go with that. What else do you need? Yep, this increase. How much influence, boy? Plus three. So how much is that going to affect this? It's going to go up by... by a hell of a lot more than it did last time, so that's good. So how many has he got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Well, he needs a few more archers in his army. Also, we can get another one of these. So, yeah. With our army here, we'll just need someone here to defend this. Who the hell is this? Well, they're not raiding my, my thing, because we're at peace with them. I want to take 
Let me take the archers out of here. And bring them down to here. Because he, yeah, he just doesn't really have enough archers. Leave them there. If we exempt from taxation, yeah, it's under control. Okay, good. Anyway, with the resistance to invaders going down, that'll be good. What's this recent events bullshit? Where'd, where'd that come from? Alright, that's good. We're making pretty good cash. Let's move on. So we've almost got our first full stack under control. Okay, um, so they're allies of those guys. Luckily they didn't show up to help. Okay, so we need to send an agent over there to... What's this? Kisa Minamoto... Okay, so they broke their alliance, so that's okay, it doesn't affect me apart from the fact that they might go to war with each other, which is good for me. Uh, what am I looking at here? So, this settlement here is under threat from them. It'll be some time before they show up, but I think we should back off from here. And deal with them instead. No, oh, you're gonna go... Th oh, that works well, because this is actually their region. And... I want you over here as well. Got to see what they're up to. Need to be recruiting troops like crazy to try and be ready for if, when they show up. Okay, just stand there. Have them join. Okay, we've got to lower them taxes. Don't want rebellions starting. Alright, we're good. So public order here is at plus one, that's good. Once it's at plus three, we can remove these guys from it. That'll just take a few turns. That'll help with public order. But so will that, so just leave it be for the time being. So will this. What should we do with this anyway? Plus what plus two morale for all land units recruited in this province. That's pretty good. Maybe I will recruit more warrior monks from here, though. Well, let's not build that right now, because that's not a priority. Too expensive. Yeah, so we're going to build a master field here. Actually, that's not good for economy. I don't need to recruit lots of troops right now. You start making your way down here. Should have moved him ages ago. So this is just a town here. We need to upgrade that. What's this? All right. I need to destroy that. Same with that. It only it seems like when you destroy something. Oh no no no, that one's fine. Need to build this one. Okay. Yeah, I don't want this. Destroy that. Because we want to put a thing in there for food. So how many regions do we have? I think it's five. No, it's six. Okay. It's a good start. What's that? Those Kaizoku pir uh, pirates. Fine with me. Now, we could capture this settlement over here. Request allegiance. Uh, well, this guy has, needs to level up a bit first. Because it's 100% Fujiwara. I probably should have just left him there. Because now that's going to go down. It's, it's no big deal. These guys aren't a priority to, to annex just yet. Okay, bring him down here. So I think that's, I've got four of these guys, but like I said, these guys have well well made up for the, the amount that I paid for them. They're one of my favorite agents of all time. And the great thing about them is the AI doesn't seem to spam them. Because if the AI used them the way I do, that would be very fucking annoying. Okay, spread your influence to the majority of this problem, Etchu. Uh, no. Nope, that's not a priority. Okay, I need to... No, 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 not bribing the army. So, looking at them... Okay, cool. I just need to know... How many... Oh, fuck me. 
All right. Yeah, that's that's going to be a problem. Now the thing is, if they go and capture this province, oh, they still got three turns to go. But if they go and capture this province, we just send him in or him to just bribe it straight back and just do just bri just, yeah, just keep bribing it. They should have 95% chance of success. All right, you stay over here. Do that. The chance of success is pretty low. Just, just stay in this region for the time being. That's not going anywhere. Uh, if you could come over here and delay this, this turd. Because I think it's about two turns away from arriving here. Uh, there's no amount of garrison that I can recruit in time to deal with this. They're two turns away. You'll never make it there in time. So, let's see here. Okay. So, I'm just trying to think. I don't think there's anything I can do to save that, but... If we could get peace with them, that would be good. No. Do not. We just need, need to be patient then. It might be better off if we can get both of these guys into here to spread our influence into them as quickly as possible. Because that's not a major faction, so we can we can steal that region. All right, let's. They're not going to come down here anytime soon. Let's upgrade this. Try to improve our economy. Okay, so it's, since that, that's a plus three, but that could... I don't know when that's going away, so let's just keep him there for the time being. Yeah, I don't know what the hell these recent events shit's all about. Unless it's... Yeah, like I said, I have no idea. Alright, let's look at diplomacy. We can set up a few more um, trade agreements. Yeah, that's another major faction there, Minim the Kamakura Minamoto. Those guys are dickheads. Alright, moving on. Anyone that doesn't trade with me is a dickhead. Anyone that doesn't submit to me is a dickhead. Everyone that's not me is a dickhead. Okay, I just need to pause the recording for one moment because I gotta go take a phone call. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and where were we? So, I don't know, like bringing the him up to here, I'm just not gonna make it there in time. I mean, we could come over here to fight them, but I'd much rather just take it diplomatically. Still, we'll keep him here because, like I said, I can deal with this, but just with agents. Let's keep him here just in case. Alright, so how many units have we got in here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I'll take 4 from here. Wait, can I upgrade this to stone? Yeah, no, we can do that. That's good. Let's send these three up here to, to garrison. I don't think they'll make it there in time, but maybe they will. The public order here will maintain without them. Just not during high tax time. Anyway, we can upgrade the uh, the rice patties again, so that'll be good. Make more money. And more food. The great thing about food is that the, the global food supply adds to the town wealth. Okay, yeah, just chuck everyone in here. So with three of them in here, so yeah, our influence is increasing pretty rapidly, considering they've got influence in here as well. That's not too bad. But they didn't move that army. Interesting. Uh, we don't have enough money to sabotage them, but they didn't do anything. I tell you what we should do. 
You should stand right there. And you stand right over here. And just block them. Just block them from moving. So this is us with high taxes. Okay. Okay, I need to recruit another unit over there, so something's got to give. So just cancel this. We can just recruit it next turn. We need to... I want to build the next turn. We need to be recruiting. If, if they can hold out for one more turn in here, that'll make sure that this gets done. I'd love to upgrade that as well, but there's no time. Okay, let's move on. Ha! These guys are getting wrecked. Because I don't like them. Oh no, they're coming at me. Just wanted them to wait just a little bit longer. Oh, those guys got fucking wrecked. So the Ashikaga are gone. It's fine by me. The fewer factions are rather better. Twenty-five percent chance. Flip a coin, then flip it again. Lands heads both time. Uh, waste of money, but oh well. At least she gained some experience. It's barely got any anyway. This one over here should be leveled up by now. Nope. These are really a pain in the ass to level up. What about bribing that army? They've got an agent in there. That's probably what's reducing their chances of success. Well, there's no point recruiting another unit in here because they're not going to get that chance. They might as well just cancel this because we're not, we're not going to be able to... Uh... Hang on, let's see. That's a full stack up against... One, two, three, four... Nine units. What's in this stack as well? I mean, it's mostly levy troops, Naginata levy. It's just, we just don't have enough. Yeah, my, I think the odds are not in our favor here. So we, we're better off just canceling the construction here, redirecting the funds. When we recapture this settlement and they're dead, sure, no problem. We'll, we'll sort that out. <laughs> So this is increasing. Soon enough we'll be able to just capture it that way. We don't need to send our forces in. And now it's a full stack. Also we need to drop these taxes. Okay, we've got a lot of money to spend. Best we upgrade this as well. It doesn't hurt to upgrade it. But it's not under any danger. It'd be better if we focus more on our economy, get some more food coming in. Yeah. At least the money didn't go to waste, but yeah, there's... There's no hope at all. Look, I'll tell you what, since I'm just so not confident of that, I might as well just pull them over to here. And we'll sit these guys in the garrison once once we've dealt with these guys. Because what we can do, if we can bribe both of these uh, settlements on the same turn, because I've got good money coming in, then that'll get rid of them. It's going to be costly dealing with them. But, oh well. Look at that, their, their allies are at each other's throat as well. And while they're fighting, they probably won't bother with me too much. Or maybe they will. Why are there sending troops up here? It doesn't make any sense. Or maybe they're just trying to avoid them. Ah, motherfucker. I was really hoping they wouldn't make the attack. We can fight this battle manually if we want, but we're not going to do anything. Give it a sh no, 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 no. I don't want drop-in players. Here's the thing, my thoughts in dropping players. 
If I wanted to fight another human player, I'd play multiplayer, which I do on live streams every now and again. But if I want to play just by myself, then that's what I play a campaign for. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of, I like the fact that the option's there, I just don't want to use it. I can just imagine, there's always like one or two people who are like, Oh, you noob, you should put it on drop, find drop-in battles. For one thing, there's hardly ever any people playing the damn game, so finding a drop-in player, or like a drop-kick player, ends up taking ages. And also, I don't, yeah, I just don't want to. Because in the past, when I have done drop-in players, they have oftentimes been douchebags, but that being said, when I've been a drop-in player, I've also been a douchebag. You know, they're attacking a settlement, they'll fucking go and hide in the corner just because they don't believe they can win, but because I don't play with any timer, I have to go out and fight them. It's very annoying. But they wouldn't have done that for this battle. So yeah, the plan here is just do as much damage as we can, which will be not much. It's all just levy crap. Which is good. If we had a few extra units in here, I would have left our troops in there. But we just... If the garrison building had finished, it would have made all the difference. I, th I thought for a moment these birds were going to be goblin... Lob or what are they called? Goblin doom divers coming at me. I'm just like, wait, this is the wrong game. Our general is in grave danger, my lord! So, yeah, the archers didn't do a whole lot of damage there. Not surprisingly. Let's pull them back. Throw these guys in here now. Can we get rid of some of these bow levy units? I mean, all their their archers are far more of a threat to us than their melee troops. When it comes to defending settlements, you want melee troops. When it comes to attacking settlements, you want archers. So we going over here. Yeah, they're all confident. Just, we don't have enough troops to really do anything, but it's fine. Just do what we can, kill as many as we can, because they, they may not get replenishment. If we manage to capture, uh, to secure the allegiance of this settlement next turn. Which, you know, it costs us money, but that's fine. It's better than sending the army up here. Also helps to keep our agents nice and uh, good with experience. It's good they're getting a few kills. They've got more kills than the... Well, the archers have got a few kills, but they had a head start. I can pull them back, but there's no point. They'll just chase us. I can pull them back, because they're in combat with, with these. Might as well just... Get a bit of a cinematic look at it. Watch him fight. There's no tactics involved, so I don't need to do anything else.
unit has perished to my lord. Let's have a look, how are we going? Only got a handful of guys left. How do we go anyway? Killed a few of them, nothing... Nothing major. They're probably shooting a lot of their own troops there as well. They lost more units than... No, no, I lost more units than they did. What did they do? Oh, they, they occupied the settlement and then they walked away. So... Yeah, that's okay. So what we do now... Okay, well, he... Did. Right, if you stand out here just for a moment. Okay, we'll need to send him in. 95% chance of taking that back. And we'd get it straight back. Good stuff. Um, yeah, okay, well, they'll probably just come back over here and recapture it, but the thing is they've taken no replenishment. So... It just, it just dicks around with them a hell of a lot. Didn't really make a whole lot of money this turn. We lost a few trade agreements, but we can re-establish them. At least I hope so. I mean, they're probably unfriendly with us now. Speak them. The Ashikaga are back. How did that happen? Okay, well we can send you down here, I want to see what's going on. So, we want you to be better at seducing and distracting armies. Because that other one, like 25% chance, fucking sucks. Especially for that amount of money, just forget it. But then again, you know, it shouldn't be so easy to do that. Get another one, it's good for... Maybe just keep them in there for a bit to get them experience. We're good if that's permanent, but I just don't know why that would be. You just stay there. It's all good. So looking over here... Good, we're half of the way there before we can take it. Because if we took this right now, then this army would just disappear. be too easy. I mean, I fully expect they're going to come back, but just in case they don't, I mean, it's just money. Now, next time, next time we recapture the settlement, if they do take it, we put them in here. There's still a chance they'll beat, beat us, because here's the thing, they're a little bit damaged as well this time. Um, but with them in there, that we might actually be able to repel that. Alright, what are we doing? I don't really care. I'm not, going, not sending a navy out there to get rid of pirates. This is wasted my time right now. Okay, moving on. So I tell you what I do. Bring these three troops, because I don't think... Yeah, the public order's fine. Send them over here, so they can come and help. Alright, moving on. Who the fuck are these guys? And here comes the the the, uh, the rolling in of wars. So yeah, we fight this again because we did certainly do more damage to them than many of those. We would have done an order resolve. And then yeah, we just bribed the settlement again. Ninety-five percent chance. So one in twenty times if we will fail. And I'm pretty sure when they fail, it doesn't cost you anything. So long story short. 
but they'll never be able to hold the settlement unless they keep their daimyo in the settlement. If they keep their daimyo in the settlement, um, I can't request the allegiance. But then I'll just take their other settlement. As soon as he moves out of the settlement, we got him, bitch. The settlement's in good shape. I don't know where they're going to come from. And there they are. Okay. So get over there and just shoot whatever you can. We need to get rid of some of their bow levy, because that's their most dangerous unit. The Naginata levy, they're, they're not a big deal. Like I said, when it comes to assaulting settlements, it's the archers that are dangerous. Good. Every casualty we inflict on them is good. Speed this up. Yeah, I don't ever really expect my archers to do a whole lot of damage. Like I said, they're, they're not really good at defending these settlements. They're just the dam like they can do a lot of damage if they use up their ammunition, but their reload skill is really slow. So get them back over here. Because obviously try and use up as much of their ammunition as we can. Did a little bit of damage to that bow levy. So that's good. As long as we don't give them a single turn to replenish. That'll be good. So basically this war is going to cost me like a thousand a turn until these guys are beaten. in grave danger, my lord! So you just shoot at whatever you want. I prefer it if they shot at the, uh, the bow levy, but just whatever. Shit, what are you attacking? Yeah, you just yeah, keep fighting. Oh fuck, they're over here as well. Oh well, they're completely f fucked. Of course we will. We're never going to win this fight. There's too many of them. Just get into melee and just fight them. Same with you guys. Just fucking get into melee. Just actually, no, you can still shoot. Just get, just get one volley into them. No, not going to happen. Just get into melee. So how are they going for kills? Getting it. Look, that one's got 56 already. That's, that's pretty good. These ones over here are nearly broken. But they won't break just because they, they outnumber us by so much. It gives them a morale bonus. What you want to do is overwhelm them with numbers. Man, look at them. They're wavering. They didn't get like this last time. It's because their advantage is, is being lost. Lord. As in, over the course of many battles. Next time we fight them, we'll probably win. Entire unit has perished, my lord. That volley there did more damage to them. So I'd be interested to see if we actually did more damage to them than they did to us this time. The main problem here is if they loot the settlement, that's really gonna suck. Hopefully they just occupy it. No, we did more damage than the first time. Same shit, just recapture it, it's all good. So who was that other fucker that declared war upon us? Yes. Okay, so we finished that a while ago. I just wasn't paying attention to the text. I think we really need to start 
upgrading our, our uh, Budo techs. Alright, so we need to drop this. Oh man, our income's not that good. Still, we got enough money that we can buy up this. Good, then we get straight back. Now, if we throw them in here, we just have to know that. If we do that. Um, what's your chances? Nah, no, no good. That they could get killed. Just trying to think here. What should we do about this? Because there's still a lot of archers, but their Naginata are fucked up like crazy. Yeah, you know what? I'm confident that if we, if we had a few additional troops, we could win this. Because that's that more than doubles our garrison there. Throw another one in there just for shits and giggles. And it was the the Naginata that were doing all the damage anyway. Who the fuck declared war on us? Let's have a look here. So it was the Shiba. Who the fuck are they? Oh, they're the ones that replace like this wanker here. I will... Yeah, that's acceptable. Well, since they're back, we might as well sell the military will access again. As politeness dictates, as to the response you receive, that depends on what you offer. Okay, what's going on with you then? Why? Why did that not work? Well, I don't know. Okay, so these guys, man, they're ages away, but they're friendly with us. Off. Yeah, I'll accept that. As long as it lasts a, few, a turn or two, we'll get money back from that. Uh. Okay, it's opening us up to the rest of the world. Or rest of, the, rest of Japan, that is. Okay, cool. That's maxed out our, uh, our stuff. If we can hold the settlement here... We'll fix our public order. Um, I made a bit of a blunder. I should have sent him to do this, and you should have um, gone back to increase influence. See, so, yeah, I want you to head back over here so you can increase their influence over here so this can just be done. How much longer has this got to go? Still got a little while. But like I said, I think I can defend against this now, because this army is in really bad shape. The only thing that's a big threat are the bow levy. But we should be able to actually break these units in combat, because they were wavering last time. They weren't having a very good time. Alright, what are we doing next? We've got seven minutes left of the episode. What are we doing? So you just stay there, I want you to entertain nobles until you level up. Okay, that, that's still there. I, I don't know why, but it's still there. Alright, so I just don't have any money because I spent it all re-bribing that settlement. Okay, since we've got another son, we need to make him a... something. Make him a... Commissioner for Finance, that way he gets the 1% extra tax rate. It's not much, but it's better than nothing. How's our trading come going? Making a decent amount from trade, exporting 55% of it, but then we sell it off, so it's alright. So yeah, one extra defense for all units will, will help us out, but that'll, you know, that'll take two turns, that's not very long. Doesn't matter, let's move on. So they're going to make the attack. Let's see. Yep, they're going to make the attack. Okay, this kind of balance of power, we've got this. We'll be fine. Not an order resolve, but a manual resolve will win. I'd be pretty embarrassed if I did lose. The, the thing that's going to weaken us the most is the fact that uh, we don't have archer superiority. But to be honest, shooting their archers just doesn't really seem to work out that well anyway. Because what we do here, 
They start coming up on the wall, we just mass all of our troops on them, and they break almost straight away. And when they're broken, their stats go to zero. And so we kill them. Okay, that's not as good as what it said it was, but that's okay, I can still deal with this. I don't know where they're going to be coming from, just pick a spot, and we got it right. Is there any units coming from anywhere else? No, they're all coming from over here. Cool. So just keep these guys back to begin with. I mean, don't get me wrong, we're going to take some casualties. But we're going to beat them. Because the main thing here is that a lot of their units are trashy. I mean, so am I, but in here, morale is going to be good. Not for them, though. You come a bit more over here. Just need to wait for them to get here. The thing is, if we do lose this battle, obviously I lose all those troops. I mean, we can still rebribe the settlement and maybe we win on the next one, but still, it costs us more money. And if we win here, we can finally reinvest into the region and try and get that, that building that we wanted to get the extra garrison. Really, I think need to be shooting into the into the bow units. Right. That being said, this unit will probably break before it gets close. It's already wavering. Come on, shut up, shut up, you shit. They'll get up here and break. At least I hope so. Yeah, they've gone steady. Um, just hold on. Okay, get back, get back. Draw their troops out in, to here a little bit, away from their archers. How'd you go with that? Get any shots in? Yeah, a few. And we got a blob up, which includes these guys as well. Because we can eventually get their archers to come up and fight us. Okay, also, the longer they wait, the longer they keep charging us, the more tired they're going to get, which is going to affect their morale. So pick a target, let's go. Change my mind. I think these guys are just about broken anyway. So we charge them on mass. We should start to see them break very soon. Pull right through them. It's not about normal combat. It's just about making them break. Our general is in grave danger, my lord. I was really hoping they'd break by now. That's not good. Then again, a lot of our forces aren't... Okay, here we go, they're wavering, that's a good start. Don't worry about the archers' loss. The more of our guys are in combat, come on, break them. As soon as one breaks, it will start a chain reaction. Okay, there we go. Broken. Get them going, get them all breaking. Go to Shatter and also just come back up here. Bounce of power is really not very good. I thought it would be better than, than this by now. So not a good sign. Maybe I should have waited before sending them in to do this one. Just you know, just do one more dummy run. Okay, the problem here is that they've just got too many archers. All right, we've got to get back over here. Try and draw them to come up on the walls. 
Problem is, they might still be able to shoot us even from here. The thing is, unless they actually shatter, it's it's hard for that to actually judge it properly with the balance of power. Being broken isn't enough, they need to shatter. Get over here. Give you orders. Get over here, because we, we otherwise we're just going to get shot. We don't have enough skirmishes. They will send guys up on the wall. Damn it. Okay, we're going to have to really make this nice and thin. So they can't, they just can't shoot us. They can't reach us, they'll shoot. Okay, good, they're sending their bow levy up. Just hopefully let them get a few more of the guys up. And here's where the bounce of power really start to go in our favor once we start getting into the melee with the bow units. Okay, good, let's go. They've got quite a lot of them coming up. Don't worry about our fatigue, it'll all be fine. Charge you motherfuckers. Stupid fucking building in the way. Here we go. Oh, they've got their general's bodyguard up here, so do not let them capture this. going that well. I mean, we still got good numbers in here, but our guys are tired. And we need to route them, that's the problem. And their generals here, so it's going to provide extra, extra, um, morale for them. Yeah, I don't think it's going to win. <laughs> Man, I feel like an idiot. I said, yeah, we're definitely going to win this time. I think one of the things is that I was, I was accounting on the fact that these troops would fight a bit better. That the enemy would break a little bit faster than they did. Because I've done this kind of stuff before and it's worked. Also, another thing is that we don't have any techs into into the uh, the Budo techs, and that's probably biting us badly now. Still, you know, it's it's not the end of the world. We're killing a lot of their archers. We'll bribe the settlement again, so we lose these units. I'll just re-recruit them. If I could just get one of these guys to come around the back here. Might come around their back. We might be able to get some of these Naginata to break. And sort of get a chain reaction going. That would be good. Because I haven't lost, actually lost that many men yet. Our entire unit has perished to my lord! Get around their back. So they're, they're starting to get tired. This, this still might work. God, if we could kill their general, that would make all the difference. Get around over here. Look at them, they're wavering. Our guys will not will fight to the death. Hang on, I'm seeing a lot of banners running away. Gotta get around them. Good, look at them, they're running. We're gonna win. Kill that general and then they'll, they'll shatter for sure. Now, look at that, we, are, we did actually win after all. I, was, I really thought I was going to lose for a moment there, but then what I was expecting to happen, what I wanted, was counting on, did actually Lord, happen. Their general we got has him. Fallen. The cutting blow. 
There we go. Well, we can't run any of them down. We didn't capture anywhere near as many as we wanted. But, I mean, look at that heroic victory. The game is usually pretty stingy with dishing out heroic victories, but we got one. Now, the only units that Amber got absolutely destroyed are the garrison, so they just come back anyway. So they're not going to take the settlement. We have succeeded. Problem is now that they will probably send some reinforcements up here, but as long as we keep recruiting, we should be fine. Here's the thing about the daughter. If I was to exit the game right now, and then come back. Would that daughter still be there? Because I'm not certain about that stuff. Because of, you know, hour 36. Shit, that's all that remains of them. Now, if I was to send an army out, send them out here to go and run them down, they, um, they would just run away. We wouldn't be able to catch them, I don't think. How are we going over here? 35%. I think the perfect time for us to do this would be when they send this army to try and take Echigo. I guess it's a good good opportunity to, uh, to test this out, so I'm going to take a break now, so that's the end of this episode. We'll see if when we come back this, this family member is still here. Anyway, it's the end of this one, so like and subscribe, part 2 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.